Well, ladies and gentlemen, I promised myself I wasn't going to make another Little Caesars video, but here we are. Because people keep saying ridiculous stuff like this. So everybody that's saying, oh, it's health code. You don't know what you're talking about. You're wrong. I looked up the Florida health code. And what it actually says is this. Somewhere around here. It says, the only thing it says about receiving food is if they receive food back, they are not allowed to then resell it to a customer under the slim specific circumstance of if they take it back and it's prepackaged food that was untampered with, they then can resell it. It says nothing, nothing about being, a matter of fact, it actually says they are allowed to take food back. So none of y'all know what you're talking about. Check that shit. Number two. Number two, you have all these people running around saying, oh, well, well, it's a health code violation. It's a health code violation. There is zero difference between a customer dropping something and picking it up and handing it to someone and the employee dropping it. It's still the same dirty, nasty, disgusting floor, whether it's inside or outside. Had the employee gone out and cleaned it up, they would have thrown it away. And you guys keep missing the fact that I am talking specifically about throwing things away in the trash can behind the counter. It is cordoned off from the kitchen. So, if you, some of these people are commenting like, well, it's okay if the person, the employee takes it from behind the register and throws it away. No, that's the same thing. That is the same thing. And if you don't see that and you don't understand that, then you are outside your league. You are outside the realm of critical thinking right now. Finally, people saying shit like, oh, well, you know, uh, uh, people rob stores and they run red lights, but they still do that. You are doing what every bonehead does nowadays where they try to make unlike comparisons to try and prove their point. Somebody running a red light, somebody robbing a store, that is somebody that is an individual affecting their individual rights and freedoms and liberties by getting arrested for doing something stupid or getting a citation for doing something stupid. This is a business that watches people like a hawk because if they do a, if they do anything and they screw up anything, they can lose their licensing. And don't give me this shit of, well, that's not, you have no clue whether that's an offense that somebody can actually lose their license for or not. Because in actuality, it ranges from all the way from a fine all the way up to losing your license. And if you think that this is so important to not take food back, that it's, it's awful, it's horrible, oh my God, you could get everybody sick and they could die, then it should be an offense that you can lose your license for if you do it. But again, we're playing that game people like to do nowadays where they cherry pick information and they dance around a question. The reality is there's zero difference between me dropping it and giving it to the employee and them throwing it away and them cleaning it up. There's none. My germs that I'm throwing in there are not going to add anything more than what's already on there. Get your head right. Needs to be for more than just a hat rack. Sorry.